Hey guys, welcome, welcome. And yes, to some of you, maybe a surprise to still see me here because uh, you're not gone yet. Yeah, not gone yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I so missed all of that. I missed all of that. The, so the I mean, I like, it was like I think Peter like uh, two live streams ago. I think where yep. I uh, kind of like live stream bumped and yep. there was a guest to announce that unfortunately I was going to leave MSI. But of course, now without having hosted my last live stream. So let's make so the most of it. This is your last one, right? Exactly. So Damn. this is going to be my uh, last live stream, and uh, you know I have the pleasure to do it with Peter to really close it off. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, pleasure so is mine. Let's say that. Again. I definitely hope that we're going to have a really, really good time today with all of you. And if you have any questions for me, of course, just drop them in the chat. And um, yeah, uh, today's topics are, are not gaming. Um, so I think for, uh, this past year you have seen more and more uh, of us, you know, doing these kind of, uh, you know, productivity and business and all around uh, entertainment. Uh, well, not entertainment, but you know, for a home use as well. Yeah. Uh, so today as well, we have uh, some new products to show you and also some, uh, you know, great ones that we have uh, more or less shown you before, but, you know, uh, it fits really well in the package today. So uh, you're going to be seeing some of it, uh, you know, again. Um, yeah, so I have the monitor right here uh, that I will set up. So I will set up the monitor and go through, you know, uh, what's what, uh, what, uh, you know, what can you expect. Uh, I'll go through all the details and the specs. And I will also show you, you know, what kind of desktop, uh, you know, fits really well with this kind of setup. And of course, go through uh, what other options do we have. Uh, you know, is uh, you know maybe a different variation fit you fit you or uh, you or your lifestyle better, or you know so your your dad's uh, shop or your own shop. Um, so yeah, we have uh, quite some stuff to, to uh, go through. But uh, today we also have something new to give away because usually we have some game codes or uh, you know so some maybe even hardware. But today we uh, have Netflix gift cards to give away to you something guys. Something new. Yeah. yeah, we haven't done that so, before. Yeah, if you're interested in uh, you know having at least two months free Netflix, uh, you know, 25 euros worth of gift cards, uh, you know, definitely make sure to. Uh, yeah, sign up. I, I think you know. You guys already know how it works, right? You go to msitecom slash two slash insider. Uh, we have you know a few to give away today. Um, the more actions you perform, the more chances you will have at winning the codes, or not codes, but code. You can only win once. Uh, you can also uh, definitely make sure to check out the loyalty bonus if you're a frequent viewer. Uh, as we know, there are quite some of you in the chat already. And yeah, so make sure to tune in. So just to be clear, it's yeah. a it's a cash it's a 20, 25 euro or, or thirty dollar I think that's right that's a, that's the value yeah um, and it's so it's not because I was wondering it's like it's, so is this like a standard net Netflix account but it's not like thirty no, days no, no, it's it's, account, it's no. money so you can choose whatever you want if you want to go four K uh, subscription and uh, you can do that indeed. Um, okay, yeah, so speaking of, you know, this campaign, uh, we uh, actually have this already live on our website. So if you're interested, uh, definitely make sure to uh, let me show you on the website right now where you can find it because there's tons more details and, um, you know, eligible models uh, that you can get uh, the gift cards as well. And, you know, some general information regarding the time period and uh, where you can claim it, how you can claim it. So if you go to our website here, as you can see, familiar name, I love cinema. So really, you know, the, the campaign is also to encourage you to uh, you know, not just work all the time, but also, you know, have some fun, have some pleasure besides gaming. You know, there's also some entertainment. And with this, you know, we wanted to, uh, you know, award you guys with the Netflix gift cards. Uh, but that's also because the models that I will uh, get into in a second, they have some kind of fe a few features that's really good for your eye if you haven't guessed it yet from the title. So yeah, we should have we should have you know gotten the the, the, the the big eye mask or what is it that you oh, used yeah, to have I you know I the still paper have that thing laying around oh, somewhere uh, in the office if it's not thrown away already. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did, I think did, didn't you do a li full live stream wearing that thing just about? At some point, uh, I think I've. I, I, you might be right. I think I've had that, like <laughs> at least like half of the time on my head. That, that must like, have been the most cutout. uncomfortable thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> but it looked fun, so you know we, we had it fun. Did, yeah. so that was that was good. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so you, yeah, just go to the website. You can see already here the promotion period. Uh, it already started from the uh, 1st of April and it still lasts to the 30th of June this year. Yes. Of course, while well, the stock lasts. So um, the stock meaning if you're interested in getting uh, you know, uh, some monitors or uh, for your work, you need some uh, other hardware, you can go for you know, these kind of monitors where we can already show you well, you know which ones are eligible and which are you know also the only ones but today's topics actually is the monitor part so you can here check it out for yourself which models you can uh you know fits your uh, fit your style what you fit your needs uh you will still get the gift card if you didn't win any today Yes. Um, so yeah, tons of information you still uh, you can find here. These are all of our modern series. So if you're familiar with our gaming series, you have uh, you know the NAG, you have the NPG, and then you have the NEG, which is the highest tier. So here we have uh, the similar segmentation. Let's say this is a separation of the, uh, these kind of uh, ranges. So we have like first of all the pro range, which is our uh, the starting models. Uh, you know, no nonsense. It's good hardware, but uh, less features compared to the modern series, which is our uh, higher mid-end series, where we pack more enough the features. And if you want to go all the way, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you can go for Summit as well, that you can see here. Uh, it's an apt, you know, apt not many name, right? Yet. Summit, like the peak. <laughs> yeah, which is the highest, which yes. is like equivalent to our uh, MEG in our gaming uh, series. Right. Uh, Hi Claire, <laughs> uh, link to the website, uh, I think, yeah, uh, if you guys... Uh, I, I, I could maybe put it in the chat, but it's it's just, it's when you go to msi.com, um, yeah. there you go to promotions, as what Josh showed you. I'll also put it in the chat for you guys, but um, yeah, it's really easy to find. Yeah, so, and, uh, you know, we have a chat bot, so every five or six minutes, you should also see... Uh, oh, oh, sorry, you mean the promotion website? Ah, okay. I, 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 thought, I don't know. I thought he meant the, the giveaway uh, link. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, that's how I Yeah, but either way, it. yeah, you can, you can give, give them this website because the uh, giveaway will be, you know, best spam by the bot anyways. There we go. Yes. Um, so yeah, and if you're really looking for a monitor that's like uh, you know quite killing when it comes to business and productivity, so uh, you can go for the Summit, which uh, is actually on a content creation level uh, monitor as well. So I think for many of you guys, if you just need this for your business, you know, uh, for your home uh, to do some work, uh, you don't need to go for Summit. If you have a modern solution, uh, it's more than capable to handle your daily tasks and also some entertainment. Uh, aspects as well uh, so yeah as you can see here uh, if you want to know how to redeem just follow the steps here uh, it's really handy uh, all of the quick links you can also find here so any question that you might have regarding this campaign uh, or uh, the codes definitely make sure to go to this website uh, if you are interested in even earning even more points, uh, shout out, we have, uh, shout out, yeah, actually it's been running for, I think, quite a few years already now. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of you guys are already familiar with this. Anytime you have our uh, products, uh, you will also see like a, a separate flyer in the box as well, telling you how you can gain uh, points and prices and stuff like that. So it's all part of shout out as well. Yes. And there's something new here uh, with our, our reward program as well. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, tons of stuff you to uh, go through if you're interested, of course. I um, mean, for the reward program, most of the things that you can get points for are just, you know, we want to build a, a, and, and keep an active community on uh, multiple platforms. Also, like on Amazon.com, I think one of the things you can earn points for is, uh, you know, interacting and, and posting something on uh, our forum, for example. Uh, which we don't moderate. They are being uh, moderated by uh, enthusiasts uh, and, and, and people that you know have stepped up for the community. Um, but yeah, basically, just you know, uh, want to have a, an active community uh, for for MSI products, and then so that you know, if people need help or have questions or anything like that, that's usually the best way. We, we of course, we uh, in MSI we have all kinds of people that can provide advice and stuff like that. But usually, I mean, I, I don't know how you do it, but I also often just go to. Uh, Reddit or you know other people who are using the product and not just uh, you know a, a person who's trying to sell it because obviously he's going to recommend it and he's going to say things like oh I have it at home myself <laughs> you yeah know? that's one of those cliches exactly um, but if you actually get actual people who, who have experience with the product and who can tell you like all right so for for the things that you're looking for I would recommend this or that or whatever so yeah just uh, generally building a community. 
Yeah, I see that uh, I am Space Dad uh, on Twitch <laughs> is also saying that yep. uh, he is an animator, so creator of Prestige. So uh, pretty good that you're yep. already familiar with those kind of lines as well. It's good for you. Uh, actually, the, you know, if you're interested, uh, the Summit uh, is also a very good option. It has an excellent content creation, uh, color uh, reproduction and accuracy, uh, Delta uh, ELS2 as well. So uh, also higher refresh rates, so you know, your work on there is not going to seem as choppy as uh, you know, on the 16 hertz screen. Um, so definitely an interesting choice for you to check out. Uh, okay, guys, so... Uh, Ar Armin, get... I see your question. I was wondering why the MSI Optics MPG 3 uh, QD is always sold out. <laughs> hey, Michel. <laughs> I think it's because it's just really popular and, you know, that pe could, people tend to uh, buy it as soon as it's available, reason. but yep. <laughs> probably. Yeah. And, you know, guys, in demand. Get, getting back to what I just announced that, unfortunately, this is my last live stream. And I see that even some of our HQ colleagues have joined the live stream, <laughs> even though it's quite late for them already yes. in the evening. Um, you know, so um, if you are interested uh, or if you know somebody uh, who might be interested, yes. definitely uh, make sure to uh, you know, let us know because perhaps you or somebody you This know could be you. Could be the next. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, <laughs> my head used to be on the on yes. the meme, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously now I am going to be out of the picture, unfortunately. I'm definitely going to be uh, missing a lot of this kind of stuff, you know, conversation with you. You can uh, still join in the chat, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I definitely watch the live stream if, uh, when you if should I'm be allowed working. to do so. When you <laughs> should be work. working your new job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to your monitor setup, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys, definitely don't be shy and you know, spread the word if you know anybody. Yeah. Uh, so what, uh, what you should know is that there are some basic requirements of course right uh, some highlights here uh, of course if you need to check the entire uh, vacancy definitely uh, check out the link that's already posted here but you know we're looking for somebody as you know this is uh, mainly a gaming industry right so if you have passion about computer hardware and gaming that's definitely a good good plus and pre even um, so yeah, uh, a few. Uh, Actually, you need to be passionate. If you're not passionate yeah. about it, then you know it's it's not going to rub off on uh, because you have to be you have to be able to fill some pretty big shoes there, uh, which are Jaws, uh, and and you know the rest of the team as well. So yeah, really, you know, passionate for computer hardware and gaming because that's pretty much what we do most of it. Uh, save for today, you know, it's not gaming, but still, yeah. it's hardware. Um, yeah, special interest in, in desktops and monitors because that is actually the product category that JA is still technically responsible for, but not for, for long. So we're looking for somebody to fill his shoes indeed. Um, and as you can see, not, not afraid to stand in front of a camera or a crowd because we also do uh, at events, both internal and external events, we do a lot of presentations. Or well, we used to do, not, not in the previous two years, but you know. <laughs> yeah. We will be doing again, uh, which is really fun. But yeah, so you need to be uh, confident to be able to do that. Uh, you need to have a, a good, uh, well, profound knowledge of the English language. So you need to be able to both write and uh, speak in, in good English. So unfortunately, that disqualifies Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, Eric. Just kidding. Nothing wrong with your English. Um, yeah, and also because we're based in, in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, um, you know, we want you to be able to join us physically at the office uh, so it you have to be uh, within an hour traveled distance of uh, living within an hour's travel distance of uh, the Eindhoven office otherwise uh, we've had experiences before with people who, who actually uh, moved from uh, further away to, to live closer to the office and I mean in the end especially if you have a family for example that can um, backfire uh, and, and we don't want to put people in that kind of position um, so really uh, we prefer that you know people live in the in the vicinity anyway uh, that's always better um, yeah able to handle Eric that's a <laughs> yeah, tough some, one somebody that's... was actually, actually asking about it what does that mean <laughs> You know, it's hard to describe, really. <laughs> How would you describe it, uh, Ja? Uh, I think I'll have to describe it like if you have like, uh, you know, if you have like a kid who has like ADHD, you know, imagine <laughs> that, like, with that being your boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So yeah. basically, so the kid with ADHD with, with superpowers over you. Exactly. Uh, okay, well, no. I yeah, mean, so, all jokes yeah. aside, you know, Eric is a, yeah, is a yeah. great boss, so don't he worry is, about he that. Is, yeah. He's got some quirks, but then again, who doesn't? We all <laughs> yeah. do, I think, right? Um, yeah, and ready to fill Jazz big shoes. So you have to be able to do some heavy lifting physically. 
because that's you know that's literally was was jazz thing also in the show uh, the flexing right yeah but I have to say you know some desktops can weigh up to twenty kilos so yes. it's uh, yeah. you gotta be careful with your bag that's one of, that's gonna be one of the questions uh, and and actually you're gonna have to demonstrate it during the uh, during the interview uh, if you can lift that yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ben, ben on camera already has the <laughs> yeah. just, just the, the idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You need to be a strong. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and someone who they, we, we're trying to improve as well, right? I mean, the the in joke here was that Ja was always losing screws, which has happened on occasion a couple of times. Not always, you know, to your credit, obviously. Uh, and it happens to all of us, but you know, it happened a couple of times. Very. Uh, Publicly, <laughs> yeah, when I mean, he was trying like, to assemble something. They are very something. tiny, you know, and we have like a dark gray mixture of yes. floor, so it's yeah. impossible. Once they fall on the ground, they're gone. They are, they are. Yeah. Anyways, it's, uh, it's the in-joke, so someone who doesn't lose screws, or maybe, you know, if you have a strong magnet or something, that helps. Um, yeah, and if, if you recognize those things in yourself uh, and, and think that you've got what it takes, uh, you can visit uh, the address there. And check out the job position. It, there, it says a bit more uh, about the explanation because this, I mean, the streaming is is only part of our job. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, so it's it's it is an important and integral part of our job, but it is only uh, a uh, yeah a part of our job. There is a significant uh, bigger portion of it uh, that yeah you most of you probably don't know about, uh, but that will be described in the. Um, uh, in the vacancy, um, and yeah, so and if you're interested in what we do other than streaming, then go ahead. You you can probably see it there, um, and then yeah, if you think you've got what it takes and uh, you you live within a reasonable distance, and you're willing to travel that daily, then um, yeah, then then feel free to uh, apply and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and uh, oh, okay, Gaius, Emil, thank you for helping us with uh, the question in chat. <laughs> yeah. Hello, all right, guys. So, see, this uh, is what I mean, I hope the you community, the you, guys, you guys are great. Yeah. That's the thing, that's why we need a community always. Uh, you guys help each other, answer each other's questions. That's what we need. Okay, then Troy, I guess Troy, Peter, you forgot something. Ja changes his much. hairstyle every stream. So, not every stream, but you're right. He has he has been very creative with his hairstyle, <laughs> very experimental. So, yeah, that that would be a plus, I think. Yeah, I know. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You used to have like one of the, a bit more frizzy as well, right? Where I tried uh, some curls. Yeah. Actually, yeah. there wasn't. I, I didn't plan on having the curls, but the, you know, the, the the barber accidentally you know left the things in too long, so I came out <laughs> like you know the rapper Ali Bay. <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah. It was a happy accident. <laughs> yeah. Happy mm. accident indeed. No. So actually, you know what? This is we missed an opportunity here today because it, you know for your final act we could have basically said you know maybe we should shave you bald or something so that you know we've basically had it all if apart you, from maybe long hair you could do that but uh <laughs> i guess so uh, a, a certain female is gonna knock on your door then <laughs> oh, yeah we well, wouldn't wouldn't want to do that then <laughs> okay guys i think uh, you know finally you know we we can get into the products right we have a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. already almost forgot sure, why sure. we're here <laughs> oh yeah all right, but still, I mean, it's yeah. important. We, we still have to, to find Troy. somebody to, to replace you, even though that's not really possible. Not really replace you, but, you know, we need somebody to, to strengthen the team. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Uh, so, today's hero model is laying on the table, disassembled, uh, and just, well, right now, you're going to see just how easy it is to assemble this one compared to our usual process, because here we have a complete toolless design. Oh, so no screws to lose. Nope. So, but um, that, that would be that should be the slogan actually for our for our toolless design. No screws to lose. <laughs> <laughs> no physical screws. Damn. All right. So what we have here is our uh, newest addition in our modern series, the uh, MD272 QP. So the Q, you guys can already guess if you have joined our live streams before, the Q stands for QHD and the P, which means adjustable stand. Because if you look at adjustable stand from the side, it kind of looks like a P, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on how you, how you look at it. <laughs> so uh, Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll ask my three-year-old who's, who's learning the letters a little bit, like, what does this look like? It's, it's a bit of a stretch, I know. <laughs> <laughs> a bit? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's fair think enough, about fair that. Fair enough, fair enough. So the next part, what we have to do is 
connect the, of course the neck or the standards to uh, the monitor itself it's pretty easy because right now all you have to do is if you take a closer look oh yep oh, 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 oh. that's that's even the wrong one wait so what we yeah, have this one damn i'm rusty <laughs> it's been a while huh it's been a while how's yeah. the dead life yeah, one, well, yeah two three so we have three holes where yes. you will have to align with here one yeah two and three and then there's like a click system underneath ah, which you go. don't have to do much with because we'll lock, lock it in, in place itself. that is easy some would say idiot proof i've spoken too soon <laughs> no you have to align them properly first right. and then it will work okay there we go yeah there we go that sounded sounded good yep so as you can see no screws required yet next part same case so there's a little screw at the bottom there yeah it's a thumb screw so uh, it doesn't come uh, come off yeah. which is a good thing right ah you can't lose it yeah so yeah then all jokes aside uh finito there it is <laughs> is that a, is so that a guinness easy. record now yeah, like assembling, I think so. Assembling a monitor. I wish all of our monitors came like this. Yeah. Maybe that's the feedback. Yeah, and I mean. here we have a little peeling to do. So if you'd like to hear it, let me place the microphone here. Okay, grab it. <laughs> I hope that was enjoyable. <laughs> We're all about that peel. All right, so what else came in the box? Nice. We have a cable management clip, which looks like this. So let me show you how to get this on. Pretty straightforward. You can uh, adjust the height yourself where you like to have it. So what happens is that this will make sure you have an easier time putting the cables away neatly on your desk. Since you know this is a very neatly looking, well, modern looking and minimalistic monitor. So you wouldn't want to ruin that with your cables laying around everywhere. So let me just try this out with the power cable. Wait, All right. So what happens is you can already guess, right? This is where I have to route it through, yeah. get through the cable. So you <coughs> plug it in, and then you align it in the clip, and that's about it. Yeah. And obviously you can do any, you know, you can yeah. route any display cables through it as well. And this also means that if you, oh, uh, we can still stay in the same uh, right. position. Because yep. what I wanted to show was, as you can see here, you don't see the cable where usually this is where you will see the cable as well from the front view because they're laying like this. Right? Yep. But right now you can place it higher because the clip is adjustable. So it's also much cleaner from the front side. Clean desk. Right. So, of course, the power, uh, the power brick is also in the box since the power adapter is not in the monitor itself. That's why it can stay so thin because it has less internals uh, inside. Some people prefer it this way. Some people prefer it in the monitor itself. So, uh, yeah, in this case, I hope you prefer it this way because this is a really good monitor. So let's continue with what else you can see so on the front side it's our uh bezel-less design yep. with the small chin here and our business and productivity msi logo which is different than our gaming ones uh well this is just a standard sticker you can of course tear this off yourself yeah. a little bit of notice for you that this is a monitor that won the uh last year's red dot design because that's when the designs were uh, introduced and registered 
let me show you the adjustable stand. Oh, actually, show me the backside first. So the entire backside is pretty minimalistic. Here you have a, a little bit of a matte finished uh, brush. No, it's not brushed. Matte textured, finished. Yeah. Let's say a hard plastic finish. So. Yeah. This will also make sure the monitor is not as heavy as it should be because this part is actually for metal all yeah. the way down. So make sure that you have a very sturdy basis where the monitor is situated on. So take a look at the I.O. ports. It's quite simple, like I said, this is really for your all around at home and uh, at work or for doing some business at home as well. So you have a power input, and we have the HDMI port and a display port and one type C. And then of course we have the audio jack and USB B upload with two USB A's. The type C, is that a uh, video in? Or yeah, that's that also a deep uh, display port alternative. Right. Cool. Yeah. With, uh, well, if we're kind of talking about it anyways, it has <laughs> a whopping 65 watts power delivery option. Right. Yep. So, uh, you know, figure out charging, charging up your devices is going to be a piece of cake. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at the adjustable stand. Of course, you'll need to have the monitor to be placed in the ideal situation for your neck to have the most comfort. And if you prefer to use your monitor vertically as well, that's all fine. Oh, nice. So if you're like a fancy financial guy, you can pull up all your fancy graphs here to impress everybody around you. Put all your stock listings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or reading some chats, that's also possible. Yep. Whatever you want to do with it. I think programmers also, a lot of them uh, do it like that. Yeah. The other way around as well. So really, the adjustable stand goes in every way that you can imagine. So you can place this as exactly the way you prefer. Nice. Uh, underneath this, uh, the monitor, there are actually also two, I'll show you here, speakers as well. Ah. And this is an upgrade from uh, before, because before we used to have two times, well, so each uh, monitor, each uh, speaker will have a one watt power output. Uh, and now we have two times two watt. So they're doubled, <laughs> which will make the sound much clearer and punch a little bit more bass. Of course, still, <laughs> it's, you know, when I say bass, <laughs> you've got to keep in mind, this is a monitor speaker, right? So it's not going to give you really the punchy bass feeling, but it's definitely going to sound better and a bit deeper than the ones with one watt power output. It's something. If you, if you really don't have anything else, at least you have, yeah. you know, you've got sound on board and you don't so need any additional speakers. Exactly. So this is really to provide you with the convenience yes. to have the sound available to you without anything else laying on your desk or that you have to look for. Um, yeah. So uh, more or less that's from, uh, you know, the outside, um, the uh, modern MD272 QP. The rest of all the details I will show you in just a second. Um, so, you know, right now I just want to talk about some aesthetics and some general information. And if you want to ask anything about the monitor, just let me know in the chat. I'll try my best to uh, get to them. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, we can now get into some basic information and specs regarding, oh, let me, boop, 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 yeah, regarding the monitor. Yes. See so now you really see why you need strong arms with this job. With yeah. there's a lot of stuff. He's to, doing a uh, lot of lifting. Carry here. Yep. I'm almost sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna need to beef up as well because those graphics cards are getting heavier and heavier. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, like the 3090 Ti Supreme. Holy crap. I know. Yeah. You, know, you can work out with that card. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's right. You know, people e one in each <laughs> hand. You know, it's like uh, yeah, people flex with uh, you know dumbbells, but no, you can flex with a uh, 390 Ti Supreme. Do, do you lift RTX? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So um, 
The modern uh, MD272 uh, QP is only one of the few models in the entire uh, lineup that got released. So uh, in the MD272 uh, series, there are uh, right now four models that are released. Uh, of which two are actually identical to each other except for the color difference. So this exact same model will also be available in white, which is the MD272 QP, uh, which is the white version. Uh, so that's just gonna have a W at the end. Uh, but right now I just write it out in like white so you're you know immediately aware of what's the difference. Um, yeah, so basically uh, they have the same specs if you're talking about the two identical ones um, uh, Yeah, so except for the color and if you want to have like um, The same more or less the same capabilities, but then you don't want to have quad XD on a 27 inch Because you know the pixel density or the clarity benefit that you get out of it You don't really care about it that much or it's not applicable for your work uh, It's not essential then in that case you can also go for the same model But then the 1080p or the full HD HD version, which is the same one, but then 272p and not QP without the Q standing for QHD. Uh, so the main difference here, I already highlighted in like the black uh, color, so you can already see uh, what those two differences are, what the difference between those two exactly are. Uh, you, can, yeah, you can read the table for yourself. I'm just going to pick up some highlights. Like for example, if you prefer to have a monitor that's just uh, you know like about 25% uh, brighter. Uh, no, sorry, 20% uh, brighter. You go for the uh, QP, so the quantum. Uh, sorry, quantum dot. <laughs> so we have QD, and that's always our quantum dot equivalent in gaming. But uh, the Q here, the QHD version, so 1440p. That one is brighter by 20% compared to the uh, full HD version. And, but on the other hand, the full HD version has a slight overhand, upper hand uh, when it comes to the color accuracy. So uh, the sRGB value here is also 100% compared to the Quad HD model. Um, so yeah, definitely some um, you know uh, choices to be made there. So you have to consider for yourself which ones are more applicable for you, for your work, for your uh, entertainment. Uh, yeah, and they both uh, still have the speakers, so you know, for some simple stuff, you don't need to have an like, additional headset laying around on your table because there's gonna be uh, sound coming out of your monitor if you want to show your colleague or someone else around, uh, you know, with sound. That's or, also possible. or annoy them, exactly, <laughs> distract them. Yeah. But yeah, and you have um, the headphone out as well, exactly, or even yeah. USB. <laughs> so um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions regarding the specs here, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna assume that you have already went over everything. Oh, well, something else that I can also mention is that you know, uh, even though 75 hertz is not much compared to gaming standards, um, I'm sure many of you guys are uh, gamers anyway, so you know that uh, gaming monitors, you know, the gold standard right now, 144, 165. But here we're talking about 75. Even though this doesn't sound much, you have to consider that where you know these kind of monitors non-gaming came from they came from the 60 hertz panels and those are still you know uh, the majority of the products that's currently in the market and if you compare 75 to 60 you still do actually have a noticeable um, difference it's much smoother so still. your screen when you move or when you move around uh, when you move your mouse around for example you're going to see less trails it's going to be smoother so that means that everything you see on your screen is actually you know have the same effect so yeah, it's uh, it's pleasurable, uh, more pleasurable to look at. Your experience with it is also uh, you know finer, just like you know with the mobile phones as well. You went from 60 to like 90 percent or to 90. You know that kind of effect. If you have noticed that as well, is more or less what you get here as well in a slight less um, effective range, of course, than to 90. Um, yeah, so that's still a very good thing to mention also for you to remember if you compare these kind of monitors later on yourself when you actually need it. Uh, SD Rockman indeed, 75 is more than 60. Yeah. Great conclusion. So yeah, that's for some basic specs and here on, uh, uh, I just want to show you guys some highlights regarding uh, the features that we haven't talked about yet because uh, it's, it's not just a model with some basic specs and that's it. Um, especially for you know workloads uh, where you like uh, do a lot of productivity as well or for office work it's often uh, very handy if you can have like a monitor that has a capable KVM uh, feature the KVM standing for keyboard uh, and uh, keyboard video mouse so which means that you can have two uh, sources 
connected to the monitor simultaneously and they will both work at the same time on the screen. So you can uh, rearrange this on the screen by using the KVM feature. So you can connect, for example, the DP21 that I have here. You would do uh, your main workloads on this PC through this signal and you connect your laptop for uh, some other multitasking inst instances and you can display, display them both on your screen next to each other. Uh, so you can imagine multitasking uh, is going to be a lot more efficient in that way. So how can you do that? Uh, it's less complicated than this might suggest or <laughs> look. Uh, if you just globally scan over the visual, you're going to be like, oh, there's so many circles and um, arrows. But basically what it comes down to is that you connect one source into USB Type-C because that has a uh, DisplayPort alternative uh, feature. And the other source, you just simply choose either in the HDMI port or the DisplayPort. After that, you're just going to make sure that USB-B cable is connected as well because that will make sure that the KVM feature is going to be um, properly uh, supported. And if you want to make use of USB ports as well, you have to have the USB-B cable connected to your PC. Otherwise, they, uh, you're not going to have a good time. So once that's done, you just got to activate the KVM feature and that's it prob uh, pretty much. So. Yeah, the, like big said, plus, the big plus is that you only need, I mean, you've got two devices, yeah. but you only need one set of keyboard and mouse, basically. Exactly, yeah. So, and I've, I've been doing, especially working from home, I've been doing this a lot, um, you know, testing stuff on, on one PC and then having the, the work laptop next to it as well. But you don't have that many monitors or something, for example. So, and I actually didn't have it in a monitor. I, I bought it, ended up buying a different uh, or a separate uh, solution that right. is basically, you know, two USB uh, connectors, one to each of the PCs and then uh, the rest to uh, uh, the, uh, the keyboard and mouse. And basically, you could just switch with that. So, but built into a monitor, that's brilliant. Actually, uh, I really like that. If you're if you're multitasking with multiple devices a lot, um, then this really is a godsend, because it just means you, you'd either otherwise you'd be switching, you know, your, your keyboard and mouse from one PC, pulling the USB out, and then connecting it to the other one. And here is just you know uh, cl clicking a button probably, um, and basically you know switching to to the input from the other PC. No need to uh, disconnect uh, your, your keyboard and mouse. They will automatically connect to the device that's, that's being displayed. Exactly. Um, and so in, in order to operate all of this, all you have to do is use our uh, uh, Productivity Intelligence app, uh, which is more or less the equivalent of our MSI Center app or our uh, Gaming Intelligence app from our gaming uh, counterparts. So that little app is really simple. Uh, it, it's it's it's, uh, it's an app that had, you know packs the basic features that you're gonna need for your monitor for the basic tunings like choosing some color profiles and you know uh, uh, activating these kind of features. So in there you can also make hotkeys. So if you want to activate, for example, KVM, you can just go and press or control and then the right arrow, for example, and then voila, you don't even have to open the uh, software anymore after that. So you can do that in the, the PI Intelligence app, which will come, uh, well, not come with a monitor, because you have to download it from a website, from the web page where uh, the model is stated. And then uh, you're good to go to uh, use these kind of features. So that's a KVM. Now, something else that's going to be uh, supporting your eyes, which is very important, is uh, you know, the less blue light pro. So what's the difference between Pro and the regular ones? Because we have, have, we have had, we still have a less blue light feature, but that one is only a software uh, tuned, which means that when you activate it, just like, uh, like the visual that you see here, um, it's going to be yellowish. Now, just like, let me show you here. So like the left side, you can see it's the normal uh, less blue light feature, uh, which majority of the people uh, you know, doing monitors have. So that will make, sure, make your monitor really yellow. So of course your experience goes down in that way. Now, by using uh, less blue light pro, you're not going to have the problem because, <coughs> sorry, the pro version actually has a hardware layer baked into the panel that tunes this um, uh, uh, blue light. So that means that the blue light is actually, if you look at the wavelength of the blue light itself, the most harmful part is now tuned and basically eliminated from the process. So this 
uh, you know, allows you to have a monitor that keeps the values uh, that it's supposed to have, the colors uh, and the vividness, the details, without uh, you know, yeah, really losing any of this and still have a less blue light. You just don't really notice no. visually. But inside your head or for your eyes, this is going to be so much better than uh, you know, the other yeah. version. So basically, it's a much more refined approach to, to achieving the same goal. Yeah, exactly. And this is especially important when you are using your monitor at night, when you don't have like a properly lit uh, environment, because those times or those scenarios are going to be, uh, you know, the most damaging to your eyes and also to your sleeping rhythm, so to your circadian rhythm. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard in the news, you know, in the, some years ago or so, um, when there's like a big, there was a big thing about bl uh, blue light being harmful to your health, to your circadian rhythm. Yeah. So in short, what that means is that, especially at night, when you are using devices, not just monitor, but TV, your mobile phone, your laptop, basically any screen that shines light <laughs> mm. uh, that you can use at this device, is going to have harmful blue light. Um, you know, that's bad for your sleeping, uh, sleeping rhythm, the circadian rhythm. So it was always recommended that when you, are go to, when you plan to go to bed, definitely make sure uh, you know, between half an hour and an hour before that, do not use any devices that's going to you know, emit those blue lights because that way you're going to have a healthier life and also a better sleeping quality. Now, this, is, this will tackle the same problem, uh, except that you don't have to do anything and nothing you know, is going to look yellow. Uh, so, you know, except for, you know, it's better for your eye, it's also yeah. uh, a lot better for your general health and also your But it's uh, not, not just quality. your circadian rhythm, I think it's also, you know, these are meant to be, you know, uh, professional, so also for, for <coughs> people who work, uh, and, and work is usually, it's a work day or something, it's multiple hours, right? So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if you're staring at screens for multiple hours a day, uh, just filtering out that blue light can really help to, to put less strain on your eyes. And I think that's exactly, one of the yeah. main things here as well. So next to the circadian rhythm and then of course, you know, the, the sleeping thing, which is situational. Not everybody's looking at these monitors, uh, uh, you know, late at night, but sometimes you are. But you're, you're way more likely to be, um, you know, working on one of these monitors. So the whole day you're, you're looking at it. And if it has this kind of filter, this will really help to uh, reduce the strain on your eyes. So by the time you're finished working, you, your eyes won't feel as tired. Um, so that's pretty much it as well. Yeah, exactly. So the general health plus. part and also like the sleep part. So, yeah. um, okay. I think you have a fan in there, Peter. <laughs> what? You have a fan in the chat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, okay, my my so eldest daughter. <laughs> Love so that's you. the uh, the TUV certified um, you know, less blue light feature of the monitor, which is again hardware implemented and not software tuned. Uh, something else that's also going to be quite harmful to your eyes is that when you have uh, panels, uh, so like Peter said, right? So if you're looking at your uh, screen like um, uh, a very long time, eight at a ten day, hours a day, whatever your working be, day is. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of strains when you have panels that still emit like flicker, which you don't actually yeah. visibly see. No. So you don't see it, but your eyes, your you, you know your head, you know your brain still registers it, and it's going to be very disturbing to your eyes. Uh, so in the fatigue, the eye strain, they're going to come along. And we really try to make sure with this kind of product, uh, productivity uh, monitors that we have to give you a better eye care and uh, a healthier lifestyle when you have to work a lot behind the monitor. So that is indeed very important. Now, I already briefly talked about like the USB Type-C. So really, uh, that's what you also should uh, expect from you know, monitors coming out in this day and age, especially. So yeah. you know, we make sure we, we have it. Um, so the USB Type-C with 65 watts charging capability. Um, so yeah, it's also a display port alternative, so you can use it for display, but when you charge up your devices, you don't need to use your uh, you know, thick block. You know, sometimes you don't, you don't remember, you know, I lose my block all the time, a charging cable. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now you, you can just have like one simple USB Type-C cable yeah. laying around, uh, you know, in, in a drawer in your desk and just pick out the layer cable or you just keep it in there and, you know, have it managed by the cable uh, clip. So you don't really see it. And clip it in anytime you want. You're gonna have a very fast charging time because you know since you know many uh, phone chargers they are still like about like 20 to 30 watts, mm -hmm. but you know some you know you have some better ones that have like super charging and stuff like that. But basically that's still already baked into the uh, monitor at yeah. your convenience. Uh, but it's also uh, I think 
uh, having this can also means not just charging, but I think also for you know running um, uh, like maybe a, a powered hub or something, um, you know that you could connect multiple um, USB devices to or something that, that require power. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. Talking about power, uh, Edwin K is asking in the chat, uh, <laughs> yeah. can, if we can say something or claim something about that Tweakers, uh, there's a website, Tweakers in, in the Netherlands as well, tech website. Uh, they claim that when you set your gaming monitor from, for example, 165 hertz to 60 hertz, it will save power. Uh, being that the graphics card memory and motherboard memory works, lo works lower or slower and saves energy. Uh, I, I guess uh, if your graphics card is synced to to you know apply the the hertz that your monitor like you know G sync or whatever, then yeah, probably it will it will work less hard because it's it's not targeting 165 hertz, it's targeting 60 hertz. So yeah, probably it will work less hard, and the same well motherboard to a lesser extent, but with draw calls and stuff like that. But yeah, a little bit maybe. So there is a little bit of truth to it, but to be fair, it's not probably going to be uh, significant enough to really make an impact. So. Technically, yes, uh, but significant enough to make it interesting? Yeah, probably not. It. But this could be something that maybe our FAE can, can look into, but it's probably just going to be a couple of watts. And in a system that uses what anything, depending on how powerful your system is, it can use up to uh, hundreds of watts uh, simultaneously uh, drawing it while, while gaming. So is that really, you know, saving a couple of watts, is that really going to be worth the effort um, and, and, you know, ruining your gaming experience essentially from, from <laughs> going to from 165 hertz to 60 hertz <coughs> by the way i would i would urge you to um to, to give it a try if you've experienced uh, a high refresh rate for a while uh, uh, 144 yeah, or 165 go back to 60 hertz give it a try see how you like it it's uh, most people i know and, and myself included that i've tried that and it doesn't matter how high your fps is in in games like i don't know counter strike whatever if you go back to 60 hertz, it somehow just feels sluggish and slow. Yeah, and you can't really put a, a finger on it. But yeah, that's you, you're not really liable to have a good time. But um, so yeah, interesting question, I guess, from a technical standpoint. But I don't think it's there's much practical use to it. No, unfortunately. I mean, this is this is this is about the same level, I would say, as saying yeah, you can you can tune your everything back in performance. Yeah, you can do that with a lot of things. You can you can down clock or what is it down? Um, yeah, down clock things to, to save power, or you can not play games that uses less power. But it's like, why would you do that if you, if that's one of the things you enjoy? Anyway, sorry for the tangent. Let's uh, let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Then uh, the, if you have any questions left regarding the modern <laughs> MD two seven two QP, right here. Yeah. Make sure to ask me, because uh, otherwise I'm going to move on. Uh, I think yeah. before we move on, maybe we can already uh, draw the first winner for today. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good question. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, we have it already on the screen, but maybe we can go to the main view for a second. Yeah. Ja, if you would uh, mind pointing it out. So, we're giving away Netflix. Uh, yeah, what, what is it? Like a wallet code? No, I'm, I'm used to saying wallet code. What yeah, are they called? It's, it's a gift card code. Gift card. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think that's a... So Netflix uh, gift card codes uh, worth uh, 25 euro or uh, $30, I think is the, uh, the conversion there. Um, yeah, for you to spend on anything you like. So uh, you can go to msi.com slash two slash insider um, and then click on the big uh, giveaway button to participate or uh, click on the link that's being uh, spammed in the chat by our bot every five minutes, uh, the Gleam link. And I see a lot of you guys have done that. So uh, let's see if we can draw some winner. Mm -mm. All righty. Yes. Uh, so think. if you guys just joined, uh, don't worry. We have more to give away. So if you didn't yes. register yet, uh, there's going to be more in the live stream. So you'll still have a chance of winning in, uh, at later stages. And if you have already registered, um, yeah, you didn't win, you're still eligible to win in the later stages as well. So you don't yes. have to re register if you've already done so and if you are a regular viewer don't forget to claim your loyalty points so if you yep. uh every time you participate in our live stream giveaway you build up loyalty points so the next time you uh participate again you will have the opportunity i think it already starts from two times uh, you'll have the opportunity to uh, throw loyalty points in there as well which just increases your uh, chance of winning basically and you can do that every single stream so you don't have to you know try to save them up for 
when there's a stream that there's a particular prize that you really want to win uh, because you can you can throw them in every single live stream they, they don't uh, they don't wear out you don't reduce them by by uh, adding them in <clears throat> alrighty so so we have our first winner for today <coughs> and their name is Den that's an easy one Den <laughs> congratulations okay, Den, Den. Okay then. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, then we'll uh, we'll get the code out to you as soon as possible in the coming days. And, yeah, actually, uh, have fun. I'm uh, I'm just gonna follow everything up tomorrow before I leave, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> personally. Yeah, I'm gonna deliver it to you personally there through you go. email. Signed, so check your signed, ja. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Apologies, guys. My my throat is a little bit itchy because uh, you know I have, I'm currently having hay fever. Um, so my it's hay fever season. Here, uh, they're not working properly yeah uh, so, <coughs> so you occasionally hear me <coughs> it's nothing bad yeah it's, it's okay. just really annoying or anything it's uh, not a flu no um it's not it's right. not that one thing that you know that the big thing the big theme of the last two years it's not no. that i have pretty much dutch bullets left and right uh when it comes to that so <laughs> i'm quite surprised myself i think what you said is it's like you know, you know, it's like Hulk thing, right? When he says, uh, I, "You know what my secret is? I'm always angry." <laughs> yeah. I think you, you, you at that point said, "You know what my secret is? I'm always having a cold." So it's like there's like a permanent thing living there, uh, yeah, and it won't, so. it won't allow any other viruses in there. <laughs> it's like you know, look for a new host, man. Yep. This one is yep. occupied. Exactly. Occupado. Okay, let me put this one here. Now, so we have had the flat version now if you're interested in having more ergonomics or eye comfort even uh, generally a bit more uh, involved with the immersion when you're doing some entertainment uh, you can go for the curved I wouldn't say this is the curved version of the MD 272 QP <laughs> because uh, this is actually the uh, MD 271 CP and then the white version so you have this one in black as well so that one then will be CP only this one is CP W so W stands for white um, so this one is curved now um, they actually have uh, many areas where they have similar features uh, but let me show you guys uh, the curvature right now and how everything kind of looks like so this is for our modern series as well, but uh, this model is a bit older than the uh, 272 uh, QP because this one actually is being launched right now as we speak. So oh. you probably will be seeing it in about a few weeks. But this one is already readily available. So if you prefer to go curved, uh, I recommend you to really definitely check out the uh, MD271 CP or the CPW, which is this version, the white version, but they both have exact same specs the black and white so if you take a look at the curvature here this is a 1500 r curvature so a bit more curved than the usual 1800 and if i take a, well let me take the uh, meaning what's the ideal distance away from it? because that's linked to that right it's uh well yeah so if at 20 it's also linked with you know how big your uh, screen actually is so if you yeah. have like uh, 1500 curvature compared to, uh, on 27 inches it's going to be uh, different when you compare this to like on 32 inches but i don't know the uh, recommended um distance you have to be sitting away from uh, the desk crap so I'm, I'm getting uh, you in trouble maybe again, Peter can I? do some research and uh, <laughs> we can come back on that but if we compare the sizes right now so uh, even though it's curved you can see there is pretty much no difference when it comes to the overall size so really the only difference that's going to be is when you compare the two like this let me uh, make sure they are very comfortable hugging each other <laughs> that is very snug so oh <laughs> like uh, this you just really flexing for us last stream guys so <laughs> now you can really see that's what we're talking about right <laughs> yes <laughs> okay now you can go back to work <sighs> and i'm lucky that these monitors are not our usual gaming suspects which yeah. are a bit more heavy <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the backside, again, it's pretty straightforward and simplistic uh, design and minimalistic where we have the same round design setup as you can see 
compared to the one that you have already seen. So did Peter find out about the ideal distance for no, I was meters. looking for it as well. It's not. It's not. I mean, no, it's not as clear as daylight. No, indeed. I, I thought maybe there's a, like a graph or something that just displays it, but it's just uh, as you say. It's really also tied to um, the size, the size of the monitor, indeed. And and so I can find a lot about you know, hey, what's the the best uh, viewing distance for a forty forty p? Depends on the size, uh, but yeah, generally about. Now, from personal experience, I do know because I've been <laughs> fuggling around with these kind of monitors ever yeah. since I joined the company. And if you're like sitting in front of the monitor for about, I would say, 40 to 50 centimeters, that for me, at 27 inches, I would say that's an ideal situation where you still are kind of embraced by the entire width of the monitor and the curve is still coming towards your eye corners. If you're really sitting away from your desk more than 50 centimeters, then you're really not... Uh, using the proper size because in that case I already uh, recommend you to go to 32 inches because you will also notice that especially uh, you know, depending also on the resolution and the scaling you're gonna have a harder time looking at stuff and details sitting at uh, that kind of distance with 27 inches yeah. Um, so yeah let's uh, show you guys the IO here as yes. well here, here we have a full metal base to make really make sure you have a very sturdy experience. So here, once again, it's very simplistic. You have a USB Type C and a HDMI. So here we don't have the DisplayPort function uh, feature that you have seen on the newer one, which is the 272. And the front side, again, it's the um, some fingerprints as bonus, <laughs> and otherwise our usual bezel-less design with the under chin where the uh, new logo is situated with a sticker that you can of course rip off whenever you like it. Also a red dot on the right side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see here. So a little bit of a uh, certified yes. acknowledgement. So the adjustable stand. It's really flexible. Now, the only thing that this one cannot do, which the 272 can do, is landscape. Go I mean, sorry, portrait yeah. mode. Because this one is curved, and we still more or less believe that when you have curved options, you do not <laughs> use it vertically. Right. Now, of course, you can still choose to do so yourself yeah. if you prefer it that way, but you know, it's not. It doesn't so make can, a yeah. whole lot of sense, exactly. especially if you're if you're gonna combine multiple monitors. You're not gonna go like yeah. you know it's, over it's the top. It's gonna look really weird since it's yeah. kind of like curved like this. So yeah. you're actually looking like that. Yeah. So yeah, really, if that's like a uh, requirement for you, then uh, you know, the two seven two is going to be a lot better when it comes to that. So this one is twenty seven inches, and uh, let me get into the details which I have for you right here. All right, uh, let me switch to the details here. All right. So, um, like I mentioned before, if you want to have the black version, that's also fine, but then, uh, you know, it's going to be the MD271CP without the W, which stands for white. So here is a summary of uh, you know, all of its basic specs, what you can expect. And again, uh, you can read this yourself. I'm just pretty much going to pick up some uh, details and highlights. So again, if you are looking for something that's going to be brighter, the 272 is a better option because there, again, you will have a 20% uh, brighter screen. That one has like 300 nits and this one has 250. Uh, the sRGB here is uh, actually surprisingly good um, since the 272 actually has, uh, doesn't have uh, a above 100% option. So the highest uh, variation of the 272 is 100%. So it ranges from 95% to 100%. So if you prefer to have a little bit more accurate sRGB experience, because uh, you're doing more photo uh, and visual work, uh, then you know the 271 CP here is going to be a better option for you. 
of course slightly so really it depends on how detailed you want to orient uh, again, so here we have two uh, built-in speakers at the bottom as well, uh, except for that this is a, um, a bit less powerful version of the 272. Um, so here really you can see that this um, is a bit older compared to the 272 because there we can pack in more newer features, uh, you know, without having to uh, really increase the price too much. Um, actually, I haven't touched on the price yet, so if you're interested, um, the, uh, so the, this one right now, the flat version, the 272 uh, QP, it's going to be released uh, depending on where you are, uh, how the stock option uh, is, uh, it's going to be different, but approximately about two to three weeks, you can see this uh, in your local market um, for about, so again, this can differ, 300 to 320 euros or US dollars. Uh, so some you know, some places can be a bit uh, a bit expensive. Yeah. Some places can be uh, you know. So it all has to do with you know the, the import fees, you know the VAT and the regulations and shipping. And so I see somebody Alien Hunter already found one. But that's for a QP. About, uh, yeah, it's the QP three fifty. <coughs> Um, so yeah, if you look around then, uh, I think most retailers already have listed, but there's just no stock yet because it hasn't really been shipped from us. Um, so yeah, the, the 271 uh, is going to be cheaper, uh, especially, yeah, the 272 QP version, that one is QHD. So if you look at the full HD version, that one you can already find uh, for about like 280 to 300 uh, euros, which is also where this one sits right now, approximately 280 euros or US dollars, depending on where you are, the price can differ. Um, so yeah, budget-wise, uh, you can keep that in mind when looking for the models. And otherwise, yeah, uh, it still has the 75 uh, hertz refresh rate, so that's a big plus. And of course, it's curved compared to the flat version. Uh, indeed, not IPS. Uh, so here, uh, especially in order to also keep the cost down more uh, for you to, you know, to have a better experience, be able to purchase it, uh, having a curved VA is going to be cheaper compared to a curved IPS yeah. because that process is going to be more diff uh, difficult to uh, develop. Now, that said, it doesn't mean that you'll have a worse experience. Not really. Of course, with IPS, you have a better uh, viewing angles. And, uh, but as you can see here, the sRGB, the panel is actually tuned really well to have a very good color uh, accurate uh, yeah, experience with 102% sRGB. If you compare that to the 100% of the IPS, then you can see that even though, yes, the IPS do have some upper hands compared to the VA, but yeah. experience wise, you're not really lagging and, behind. Because and especially when it comes to a curved monitor. Yeah. Viewing angles don't matter quite as much because you're you want not to sit likely. In the center, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no point in going for curved. So, VA <laughs> makes more sense, and it, it. I mean, VA will have um, uh, way better contrast than, for example, uh, IPS. So that is something that VA uh, has uh, a benefit over IPS. So the contrast, you know, black and white brightness uh, will be, uh, yeah, better than IPS in this case. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's uh, situationally you can you can choose between VA and IPS, and uh, you know they both have their advantages and and shortcomings. So yeah, but like Josh said, if you're looking for color accuracy, a, a above 100% sRGB coverage, that's pretty damn good. So the the VA panels these days, uh, also in, in terms of color accuracy, there are some pretty good ones out there, and this I think is one of them uh, as the sRGB coverage mm -hmm. is proof yeah. of that. <coughs> okay, so just like with uh, the Switch 72, it's very important uh, from our pers perspective to you know give you guys products that's going to be better for your eyes. So again, here we'll have our eye care. Um, so uh, I hope you guys paid attention before uh, when I explained this already with uh, the <laughs> 272. But just in short, um, you know, we have here the certified uh, panels in which you're going to have less eye strain, less eye fatigue, and uh, you know, generally for your health, it's going to be better to have a, you know, in our case, um, eye care certified, TUV certified models. Um, so we have, for example, here again with uh, anti-flicker to make sure the panel is not going to you know, uh, make your eyes more tired, eye strained, and have fatigue. So your overall health, very important here. 
and the same case with uh, blue light as well. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're looking for the curved version, then uh, definitely make sure to check this out. Uh, with the 271, you also have the option to make use of our additional PI, um, so the Productivity Intelligence app, where you can tune the monitor's basic specs, uh, you know, activate some special features like this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one you just have to download from the website, which is already uh, readily available. Um, yeah, so definitely make sure to check it out. And if you have any questions Inu regarding Inu Yasha that. is saying, wait, sorry, I'm just yeah. going to butt in there with a question. Inuyasha is, is asking about G Sync. Uh, we were talking about <laughs> things that don't make a whole that's lot a, of sense, but would add, add a lot of costs in the, to these monitors. G Sync will be one of them. So, you know, again, this is not really a, a gaming monitor, which is not to say you cannot play games on it, but it's not, its main purpose is not you know, gameplay. Um, and, and for G-Sync, it doesn't really make sense unless you're, you're, you're you know, playing games uh, and, and using it with a, uh, an NVIDIA graphics card. So in, in this case, it would add probably a significant amount of cost, especially in, in a you know, product at this price range. Um, but, you know, the benefit would be, I mean, it, it, it only goes up to, uh, only, but, it, you know, 65 uh, hertz, so, or 75 hertz, so, I don't know, G-Sync, how, how low does that go? Is it like 30 FPS? Um, Dynamically, something like that? Yeah, I think even lower than that, right? Around 24, Maybe, yeah. I think. So, but yeah, it's, it, again, the, the benefits you would get from <laughs> having G-Sync, it, it doesn't really make sense, so. Nope, not on these monitors. If, you, if you're looking for G-Sync monitors, we do have them, but you can find them on MSI.com. Yeah. That's a whole nother cookie. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, uh, again, you know, there, I, I'm a strong believer that there are no stupid questions. So, um, uh, you know, if, if you really are interested in, in why certain things are, are in there or not, uh, these are, you know, these are conscious choices in, in terms of uh, what we put in the, in the panels and what we put in the, the monitors and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, ask away. We won't probably have all the information, but in a lot of cases, we can probably give, you know, educated guesses or you know in this case a pretty damn sure answer why g-sync is is not there on this monitor anyway uh, uh, okie dokie so um yeah there's been plenty of options when it comes to the monitors part uh in our modern series and yeah if you are still interested in getting netflix gift card then we make sure to check out our uh, campaign website where you can find all the details regarding the monitors and all the eligible models yes and yeah if you still have any questions regarding monitors let me know otherwise i'm going to show you you know what kind of system for example you can really pair up with the monitors pretty damn well so Let's or if you have questions about Ja, because again, this is his last live stream. Yes, guys. I don't want to be reminded to. Uh -huh. it's, it's so sad. It's, it's going to get emotional. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me put this here to see if it's blocking you. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, definitely blocking you. So let me just put it here then. Here's the thing, right? I can't push this away because we're still <laughs> keeping our distance here. Even though we don't have to, technically. But yeah, all right, now I have enough space for... Uh, yes. Since you know, I do not need much space, since this one, as you can see... We featured this in a, in a previous live stream, haven't we? Yeah, it's uh, been featured, uh, I think, about two, three months ago, if I'm correct. So if you want to know more about the thing... Yeah, that you Jazz can check holding. out that live stream for a very yes. detailed live stream. But right now, I just want to show you guys uh, you know, a great system to pair with this kind of monitors because uh, obviously you know these are not heavy working machines they're really meant for your uh, overall workload uh, productivity and you know, for business and also when you want to chill out you can have a solid option to uh, have some general entertainment with like Netflix and chill um, these kind of desktops are also uh, you know a really <laughs> good fit because right uh, like option one is going to be it's so tiny, you know, it's going to be, it looks great on the desk since it doesn't, you know, take up much space and it has the same finish and look with the monitors as well. And you can use this one actually in plenty of positions because right now it's like placed in the foot, but you don't actually need the foot. So if you want to use this horizontally as well, then that's fine. And that's also an option. One thing you shouldn't do though is put your monitor on top of it. Yeah, because, because as you can see, it has an air intake there. Don't block it. Very important. That's a bad idea. Yeah, and this one, uh, even though it's very tiny, it's a pretty darn powerful. 
Um, so if you're interested to, uh, if you want to look uh, look with the model, this one is our pro for our pro lineup, uh, DP21. Uh, this is the 11th generation, so 11M. Uh, so Pro DP21. Now this one, um, which is actually a quick, quite a good combination. So you wouldn't expect this, but <laughs> if I demontage a monitor, which is really easy, since like I said before, we don't have screws that's needed for the process. Now. Uh -huh. Since they all have this amount of options, like you see here, the t standard 10 by 10 uh, option. Let me show you here. So if you want to, for example, mount the uh, desktop to the monitor to have like a really complete, more or less like a self-made all-in-one, that's possible because the desktop comes along with a mounting bracket just for this purpose. So this is what you're supposed to be mounting on the uh, DP21 because after that you can mount this, well actually the way around, you have to mount this to the bracket first because in the, uh, in the package there are special uh, screws that you, have to be, uh, do you ha that you have to place on here first because as you can see there's a depth here, there's space between like the outer area at surface and yeah. the inner one so you can't really place the, the regular screws on there because yeah. there's like about a few centimeter yeah. space if you, so if for you that try purpose, to put the plate I on there now it's not going to reach like yeah it's not going to reach the screw holes have them here by the way edwin uh, was asking and i think you're, you're referring to the dp uh, 21 uh, how much power will it use on normal and maximum use Maximum I think use is only about 220 watts, so... And that's the thing, I was yeah. going to say it, it, it comes with a, a 120 watt uh, power adapter. I think it's an, is it an external adapter? or is yeah, it? external. Yeah, there you go. So it's a power brick, 120 watts, 120 watts, and that's maximum. So it's going to be way less than that. Yeah, so, so let me show you here in a closer yeah. look uh, yes. what I mean. So this kind of screw you have to do uh, in a monitor to yeah. create space that's needed. Yeah. After which you can mount this. It has several uh, standards, so the 10 by 10 is right here. Yeah. You mount it on there, and you can just simply, because as you can see here, we have two, one, two holes that you have to align with the bracket. Yeah. See, right here. The little, yeah. Once that's aligned, you're pretty much done they're like little keyholes tighten the thumb screw yeah and you pretty clamp much it how it looks like is going to be like this yeah and then if you use the cable management like on this one you have the clip as well you have a really neatly finished setup on your desk so you can have more space for your notes and the only problem is how are you gonna how are you gonna mount the monitor what do you mean well you can't use the stand when you connect the PC to the back of that thing, right? Yeah, right. But Could you can just place it. Actually, that's a pretty dang good question. <laughs> Sorry, did I just, <laughs> mm. <laughs> I just ruin this idea? I mean, you can technically do that, but you'd, you'd need to put the monitor on like, I don't know, something, well, that's you know, a uh, separate stand or whatever, like something flat with the higher surface. That's actually a pretty damn good question. <laughs> You'd be using the. I'm actually bamboozled. Yeah. <laughs> so you can. It's it's just not the best thing if you if you want to still be able to mount it. You know. Anyway. <laughs> actually, maybe I'm not even aware of this, but uh, I think there should be a mechanism inside the let's say the holder mm. plate here, which can act like a hallway. In that case. I don't know. But well. I honestly cannot answer that question. Mm. So if you guys can help me, please let me know. <laughs> uh, somebody saying connect to base. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, that's a question from Mr. Master Docs. You just had to fire one bullet before I leave. <laughs> Remember, I know your address. 
because I send you a you know, <laughs> yeah, Harper before. You're, a, you're a indeed a, a previous prize winner. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, as, as an official MSI representative, I can tell you that all that data is deleted, uh, as is you know the uh, legal no, requirement. Yeah. That was that was. So Jad does not have your address details anymore. Don't worry. No, it was it went through a logistics, so I have yes. nothing to do with it. Yes. No, anyway, so, but yeah, I, I, I was thinking the same thing, Mr. Macedox, and, uh, yeah. Because it, it, it was a nice story, but I was just wondering, like, all right, how are you going to, how are you going to mount it now? What's the yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> so if you, if you would have, if you would have, like, a similar bracket on the other side of the, of the uh, desktop, you know, you could, you, you could technically do that, and you just basically put the monitor a little bit further away from the, from the stand, so you put it like a spacer in between, but that's not the case, so, anyway. I think we kind of destroyed the, uh, yeah, I think we kind of <laughs> destroyed that demonstration right there. Anyway, maybe that's that something we can look into. Anyway, so. Maybe that's something we can look into for future, uh, uh, you know, development, when you really want to be able to mount these kind of things at the rear of the PC and then still be able to use the, uh, the stand. Uh, I'm sure there's something that we can invent uh, that, that you'll be able to do that. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm sure I'm going to have a very difficult night sleeping tonight. <laughs> Pretty much thinking about this problem. It's fine, John. Which it's is fine. An, uh, that's a nice question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, noise monitor. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to open this up for you guys. I mean, if you want to know all no, the details we've, we've regarding done the thing, yeah. you can just check out the live stream that I already did. You can yes. even look up the product name because I'm pretty sure it's already in DP the title 21. of the live stream already, where I opened this up and showed you how you can upgrade and stuff even though it's yeah. tiny yeah, it's, it's actually really powerful because it is it's yeah you still are having an i5 option in this case and it goes all the way up to i7 right so yeah. it's pretty darn uh, powerful and uh, you can upgrade even add more storage yourself inside this tiny little chassis that's yeah. all no problem now uh, i do want to share some uh like specs regarding this kind of systems so uh that's going to be a really quick uh, show so um just for fun i uh you know just in case somebody uh you know just joined or <laughs> missed out on like the comparison there's like also just a banana you know just for, for scale, scale. So you, uh, <laughs> that's the, that's the international a thing that, that's comparison. used on the internet for you know for you know showing how big something is, right? The banana. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, it's we didn't invent it. You know, we don't make the rules. We just work on the internet, and, and this is one of the rules. Exactly. So you expect that from a PC that's like so tiny, it's going to be an SOC, right? So a system on a chip in which you know everything is already integrated into each other, and you yep. will only see like those weird kind of Intel CPUs, you know, 1150 or something like that, which you actually never see. But here you are having the full-fledged i uh, from i3, i5 to i7. Yep. Um, so yeah, you can see that you know there's a lot of processing power packed into these kind of little tiny PCs, uh, you know, which is more or less all you need since it's not a gaming PC for your workloads. Oh yeah. So hence, you know, why this kind of stuff you know really pairs well with these kind of monitors. So uh, if you're looking for these kind of cases, add that, and if these would make a mean HT PC or like that's like a media PC. Oh for, yeah. If you don't know what it means, so that's that's really what these things are awesome at as well. And if you want to go even smaller than this, you can check out our QBs. Oh yeah. <laughs> the QB yep. is like about, let's say 50% the size of yes. this one. So yep. about half of the banana, yeah. uh, which is actually pretty crazy. And, and those, you, can, you don't need screws to mount them to the back of the monitor. You can just use double-sided tape. It's very light. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, why don't we just use it this case? Then we don't have to uh, lose the standard. Just yeah. use duct tape. Yeah, yeah. Duct tape solves everything. Exactly. Now, so, uh, yeah, obviously this kind of PC is going to be wonderful for all kinds of using uh, user scenarios uh, for business and stuff. And it also supports up to 4K. So, yeah, you exactly. are really set with this kind of uh, setup. So, if you're looking into a great, uh, well, setup for at home, uh, for your en uh, general entertainment, uh, for the office, you know, uh, yeah, that uh, we hope that we have given you some good options that you can look into at your own pace. And of course, if you want to, if you're interested, then you can also check out the campaign website because right now there are tons of products that are eligible for a free Netflix gift card that's going to be blown into uh, your way, anyways. 
And if you just joined or missed out on the announcement, you can still join because maybe we still have a giveaway left because we're also giving you, away. By the way, John, do you know what this means? Uh, yeah, I think that's a goat, right? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say uh, I'm, I'm the goat. I mean, uh, maybe, yeah, I would say I'm the ghost of, uh, goat of the desktops and monitors. <laughs> <laughs> Peter is like the goat of the GPUs and peripherals. I'm feeling old. I had to look this up a while ago because I thought, like, what does that mean? People keep calling people, you know, some people keep calling other yeah, people well, a goat. Why are you calling me a goat? <laughs> yeah. I don't but look goat, like a goat. Goat, you know, G O A T. Yeah. Greatest of all time. That's what that stands for. I, I so appreciate you've that. You've got a fan. You got a fan. It's a big compliment. Yeah. See, my nose is already uh, running. Yeah, you're getting emotional. I, I can yeah. tell. I can tell. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah. So again, guys, unfortunately, this is my last live stream. Yes. So uh, it's going to be a firm goodbye. Uh, really, make sure you know if you have questions left. I'm still here for uh, the coming minutes. You know the good thing about yeah, the good thing about our job is that you can leave, right? But these videos will be on YouTube I forever. I almost forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah, my mom, you know, she saved a lot of yeah. The videos. Yeah. So yeah. you're why is she saving it? YouTube does that as well. That's like she's, wasting she's, storage space. <laughs> she's pretty old. She, she can right. find it. Does she print with her them out? That way. Does she print them out? <laughs> Almost. Is she, is she that old? I had to stop her. <laughs> Almost faxed it to another person. Oh, all right. Well, anyway, like I was saying, you can still win uh, Netflix uh, gift cards uh, for uh, 25 euros or a 30 dollar uh, value. You, all you have to do is go to amazoncom slash two slash insider the URL above uh, Jazz. Uh, left shoulder and um, yeah perform a couple of actions the more actions you perform the better your chance of winning if you are a reg regular viewer you can uh, add loyalty points to your uh, tally uh, basically just these are free points you get for uh, yeah coming to our stream a lot of times and, and participating uh, the more streams you follow the, the more points you'll have to put in there you can do that every single live stream they don't reset uh, those points uh, they'll just keep adding on uh, the, the more streams you watch and participate um, and it just increases your, chancing, your chances of winning. So, uh, yeah, let's draw our uh, second winner of today. And let's see, they actually, yeah, oh, we've got a winner. And they, are, uh, they won using the loyalty bonus. So, well, case in point. That. Yes. And the name is, uh, oh, oh, damn, how do I, I pronounce this? Win, Winsilly. Winsilly. Winsilly? Uh, it's, it's always a... I don't know. Uh, Guessing game. Uh, <laughs> the the first games. three characters kind of say it all because that's win. So, win, uh, silly. Uh, yeah, congratulations. congratulations. You also, yeah, you also I, win uh, a Netflix. Yeah. I'm code. gonna email you to the tomorrow. Uh, yes. How you can redeem it and you can claim your own code. And uh, yeah, guys, um, shall we give another one? Shall we? Or maybe later. How, how many? How many do we have? Because I forgot. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I do know, yeah. I believe today, unfortunately, we can only give away three. So, ah. Yeah. Well, we've already given away two, and, and I want one as well. So thank you, you for watching. No, as well. just kidding. Right. No, just kidding. <laughs> I thought I wanted, but yeah. my parting gift. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. I already have Netflix. Too bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm, already, I'm already tied to that shackle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, but yeah, we've got one more to give away later on the stream. So um, don't go anywhere. Exactly, and, but um, uh, before that, guys, yeah, we'll have to ask again, you know, especially for new viewers, if you know anyone or if you're interested ah. yourself, make sure to check out Ooh. if you are the next potential MSI insider. Of course, your job is going to entail more than just, you know, doing live streams because this is only part of the job. But, yes. uh, you know, definitely make sure to check out if you fit uh, the visual image here. It's so not just the visual image, that's the text we're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, indeed. So, are you um, passionate? Yeah, we're gonna, we can go through it a little bit again. So uh, you, you need to be really passionate about uh, just computer hardware in general, because uh, really that's, that's like the, the, the big thread through all of what you'll be doing. So if you like that, that's really going to get you through uh, everything and you'll love it because that's really what you're doing. Um, and gaming, because really that's the, the core of what we do. We've got some non-gaming products as we're covering today as well, but the majority of our products are gaming oriented. So 
uh, yeah, if you are, and you need to be like a gamer yourself, otherwise it's just difficult to really understand what gamers are looking for, what they uh, find important. So that's why, uh, yeah, a hardware enthusiast and, and a gamer is kind of a requirement. Um, if you have a special interest uh, or, or affinity with, uh, affinity with um, desktops and, and monitors, that helps because that is the, uh, those are the product groups uh, that, that JA is or was responsible for and what we're trying to find uh, somebody for that, that can pick it up. Uh, and of course, not you know, not being afraid to stand uh, in front of a, a camera, case in point here, you know, or the, the live stream, because you'll be you would be a part of the live stream, also recording product videos and stuff like that. Uh, but also, you know, standing up in front of a crowd, uh, whether it be uh, like a, an internal event, uh, a couple of you know, ten, ten, uh, tens of people, or uh, even big events uh, with hundreds of people, or I don't know, thousands of people, whatever. Uh, we go to a lot of uh, different events. And, and you know tell the story or, or do your uh, do your thing. Uh, you need to have a really good uh, grasp of the English language, obviously. So uh, both written and spoken. Also for of course spoken for the goes without saying, I guess, but for the live stream and uh, video recording and for your uh, uh, presentations. Um, we do want you guys to be, uh, if, if you want to apply, you need to be uh, able and willing to travel to our uh, Netherlands-based office, which is in Eindhoven in the south of the Netherlands. So, uh, you know, to, to kind of keep it doable for you, uh, you need to be within an hour travel distance, and that's quite, you know, quite long already if you have to travel an hour per day, but uh, at least an hour within uh, travel time of within, within our office. Um, and you'll be able to, uh, you need to be able to handle Eric, myself as well, obviously, and, and uh, Mike. Um, and ready to fill Jaws' big shoes. And, and he does have some pretty big feet. Yeah, it's okay. I only have like a 43, like a UK 9 or US 9. So it's, nah. it's okay, guys. Don't be afraid. <laughs> and you need to be able to do some heavy lifting. Um, and don't lose screws. Yeah, there you're pretty much set. Or, yeah. you know, anybody you know. So you can go to uh, the uh, URL there, that's, uh, uh, you know, in, in fat print. Um, and there it will tell you a lot more about what is, uh, you know, what is included with our job, what, it, what you have to be able to do and what you can expect. Uh, because, I mean, we've said it before, we'll say it again, this live stream is not really uh, the sum of our job. It's, it's just a part of it. It is a significant part of it, but uh, it is only part of it. So our job is uh, much uh, bigger than, uh, than the live stream. Um, and you would be focused more on desktops and uh, monitors, so, uh, you know, full systems, as they're sometimes called, desktops and uh, monitors. So that would be your main thing. Yeah. Oh, I'll miss you too, Francis. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. So <laughs> it's really funny. There's a lot of um, uh, colleagues also joining uh, in the chat and... Uh, you know, making nice comments and uh, saying they'll, they'll miss Ja and uh, saying goodbye, obviously. But yeah. Yeah. So guys, next time we see each other, it will be in the chat and not in front of the camera. What, what is he moving on to? Permanent chat member. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you heard it first here. You heard it first on the MSI. Center. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. Then uh, what are we going to do next week? Ooh. Well, actually, wait, didn't we have one more code to give away? Yeah, we can do it now or after next week. It's okay, we can do it yeah, now. Yeah, because yeah, next week we usually do, uh, it's the last thing we do. So let's, let's first draw our last winner for today. Yeah. Um, the Netflix code uh, for 25 euros or $30. Um, if you haven't participated yet, go to msi.com slash two slash insider. I'll give you just like one or two minutes while I uh, tell the story again. Um, there yeah. you can perform a couple of actions if when you click on the big red button for the giveaway uh, the more actions you perform the better your chance of winning it's basically like a tally of points that adds on if you're a regular viewer you can throw uh, bonus points into the mix which just again increases your chance of winning because you get more points um, yeah yeah and, well, uh, okay also, guys I see I need to clear the uh, clear the air a bit oh. I'm not running away towards any of our competitors so no, no Asus for me no Acer no anybody in that no. direction so no. not at all I would never do that to our team so uh, but unfortunately I'm just moving away to a different industry all yes. in, the, in the in total so you know found some challenges there and um, yeah it was a tough decision but 
Not Asus, definitely not, David, so. <laughs> okay, okay, then uh, let's see huh? who is uh, the last winner that I will ever draw. Oh, Miguel's. This one. <laughs> this Miguel's. Easy, <laughs> Miguel's. With triple Z. Congratulations, yes. dude. You are the last person that I will ever draw. So, and see John is going to personally send you the game or not the, the game, <laughs> the game code. code. What the hell? Yeah, I got I know, yeah. the Netflix <laughs> code, uh, indeed. And he'll he'll sign off personally. So you're you're going to be the lucky one of the lucky ones that uh, get you know one of his last messages as being an official MSI yeah, employee. It's going to be worth the money in two decades. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. John's going to be like with those Netflix <laughs> codes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, so tomorrow I'll send all of you uh, who have won the gift cards uh, by email. There I'll also explain to you how you can redeem. Um, so, uh, yeah, just keep an eye out on your uh, inbox. Yes. Anyway, um, and yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, um, while Ja may be sadly leaving us, we'll, we'll obviously miss him as well. He's been part of it. How long have you been with us? Uh, Three, four, four years? Uh, almost four years. Almost four years, yeah. right? Time flies, man. <coughs> it was uh, uh, September 2018, if I remember correctly. There you go. Yeah. So it's been quite a long time. Um, yeah. Thank you for all your, your help, your insights, your basically just being you as well. Um, uh, well, you know, I got to thank you guys because when <laughs> I came here, you know, uh, uh, there was a lot of knowledge missing. So well, I had to build it up. <laughs> that, I, I think, you know, nobody that, that works at this job starts with everything all the knowledge they they already need already ready so you know everybody always has to uh has to learn something but uh you know you did well yeah i appreciate it peter <laughs> and uh but yeah show must go on so even though ja is sadly leaving us we will continue and uh next week because it's every wednesday well today is a thursday so not every wednesday but Usually it's on a Wednesday, so next <laughs> yeah. week it is, uh, Wednesday the 4th of May. Um, we will be uh, looking at a dazzling, how do you pronounce this again? Evangelion? Evangelion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had to practice that a little bit. Evangelion E-Project uh, gaming hardware. So these are, uh, yeah, Evangelion is a, is a uh, anime series, I think. Is, is it yeah, it's fair a, to call it? it's a one of the classics. Yes. So yeah. uh, well, one of the yeah, bigger ones, well, quite popular. Have yeah. heard of it? So we have these uh, themed, um, this themed build and, and themed hardware that you can uh, you can buy actually. So it's pretty cool. So next week we're going to be looking at that. Um, and yeah, it, is the tree behind you real? <laughs> That's a compliment to Borco. <laughs> this one, you mean? Yeah. Nope, it's not. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, guys, if you still want to say, we, we, can, we can stretch it out for a few more minutes. If you, wanna, you guys want to say your appreciations and your goodbye to Ja, then, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I see even Jackie uh, joined from our HQ team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, okay. Really nice, guys. Uh, really yeah, nice. thanks, Mr. Muscle Dogs. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I know, uh, you know we've never officially met face to face, but I've read so many of your chats, comments <laughs> uh, throughout the three and a half years. It's crazy. One of the most loyal ones we have that constantly keeps fueling our, yeah, coming stuff. back to our stream. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. one of the lo yeah long time uh, viewers indeed that we remember. But there are a lot of you guys, so we appreciate uh, we appreciate all of you guys joining of course. But yeah, yeah, definitely keep joining, guys. Exactly. So Job you know, will do now, it as now well. you have a nice surprise, like who is going to replace me, right? This because you know at some at point should, should in time, we have a, should we have a a something like a talent show? Should we do like so, <laughs> so you think you can Ja or right. so you think you can MSI Insider? No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Try again next week. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. work on that. We'll work on that. All right. Anyway, we, and we need the, uh, those chairs where you know we can we can push and then you know. Yeah, that show. The, 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 that's not, not a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. guys I, uh, yeah. That's going to be it. Yeah. Say goodbye to Ja. Ja, again, thank you it's very much. It's been a lovely time being in front of the camera for you guys, chatting yes. with you all the time, laughing, having fun. Crying. And oh, occasionally, no. you know, showing you some products. I mean, right. Sometimes uh, destroying products as well. Yeah. I, I remember something about like a, a knife and a chair, right? That's <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe what, wait, what was what was the what was the thing that stands out most? Which stream would you say was your was either your favorite or like your your the one you, that stood out the most? Oh, I would say the one where I did 
either the sim racing or the VR. Ooh, yeah. That was a really... I mean, it was a... A, a really unique experience, I have to say. It was a bitch to set up. Preparation. I mean, sorry even. for swearing. It was, it was really... It was a lot of work to set up. Yeah. But it was pretty cool. Like, Jesus Christ, the, the amount of work. Uh, yes. <laughs> you, you, did, you did get to do one, you know, some of the, the, the coolest streams in, in that respect, indeed. Both the sim racing and the VR stream you, you did. And those were, uh, when it comes to need, like, it, trying to technically and visually make it look appealing, those were you know, some of the most intensive. And, and I think the streams that, that actually had the most unique setups, indeed. It was yeah. really cool. <laughs> By far, yeah. <laughs> those mm. definitely going to be the memories that I will uh, <laughs> take, take along with me for a very long time. Again, you can always find them on YouTube, so uh, yeah, whenever you I'm want. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that part, but... <laughs> we'll talk about yeah. that. We'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. All right, guys. Make sure to always keep, uh, keep coming back to the show because yes. you know, there's soon going to be a new insider. And you know, keep supporting MSI Insider. Always appreciate you guys. And uh, who knows? See you guys. Might next be you time. if you've yeah. got what it takes. All right, guys. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye bye.